challenge given to the students today was to come up with a best design for a rocket that would launch an egg up as high as possible and make it land safely. And this is to emulate a potential future Mars mission because that's just what Mars landers have to do. They have to go up and they have to come back down very hard. So that was the goal. And what we hope the students would do and what they actually have done is to come up with innovative ways of doing it. They come up with their own ideas. This was their rocket and they tested it. And sometimes they worked and sometimes they didn't, which is what we've seen. Um, the biggest problem for me was probably like the weight because if it was too heavy then it wouldn't even go up and even if the design was really good if it was too heavy then it just wouldn't work so it's all about the weight. Probably just designing the rocket so that they would actually work because we've gone through a lot of different designs some of them failed and some of them have gone well. We kept the string the same length but we made a bigger parachute and we also used um, a lighter fabric so that we could get more surface area and it will be um, less heavy as it goes down, so hopefully it should go down a bit slower. The egg's alive, I think. Basically, we tried shooting it with the parachute, but when we hit it down, it smashed. It's a quail egg, okay. and inside it's just <laughs> smashed. What's the objective of this rocket? As well as going up, what's it got to do? It's got to come down safely with our egg. The hardest thing in the challenge was just kind of trying to get everything together, making it as light as possible and not m making sure that the landing gear was going to come out and we got quite worried with our parachutes because we weren't sure whether they were going to be big enough being able to support the weight of the, the inner tube we have. Well the biggest challenge would have to be finding a way of getting the um, blades to spring up and also um, making this light enough so that when the secondary charge comes out of the um, rocket motor that it can actually be fired out of the rocket. Obviously we had to test with these ideas and in the prototype the original design was much much bigger and I would say the biggest challenge was definitely getting it down small enough to fit inside a much smaller rocket than what we originally intended. Um, the prototype carried a lot of weight and again as Jazz said you need to get shed all that weight and sort of still have its effectiveness. So, so this essentially is the landing gear for our rocket. Um, we are using a gyrocopter mechanism for it to uh, give a little bit of lift as it falls to reduce the uh, downward force on the egg. Inside we've got the egg on a uh, on sort of like a hammock connected to a spring and uh, as the secondary charge of the rocket motor uh, goes off, it sends the capsule out, the wings will open up, catching air and start spinning. And then just in case all else fails, we have a small cap with bubble wrap to cushion the blow. Um, this, this is the original prototype for the gyrocopter. This it, this doesn't have the spring mechanism, but it it did, and it does have much larger wings. It, this was also designed to carry a heavier weight than the our new gyrocopter design. Why do you think the smaller one might be spinning? Not this one. They like next to you. Like Fortnite. All right then. So, what's what's there more of when it's falling faster? Yeah, well, there's more, there's more air going yeah. past it like faster. Like it's falling through the air faster, so there's more air going rush through it, so it spins faster. I think the best part of the project was coming up with an idea, and then instead of the teacher or supervisor saying um, that you couldn't do it, the um, only way that you found out that if you couldn't do it was actually to try it, like actually build it, see if it works. Like loads of little like artifacts and things around like 
and there was like experiments and stuff you could do and try out to see what, like give an example of what it would really be like if you were on a rocket, like how there was um, something you could show what it would be like to launch, so there was a camera and you could see the people in the like rocket but they couldn't see you so you had to tell them how to launch it by telling them to press the buttons but you had to sort of explain it to them because they couldn't see like what you were doing. My favourite bit was probably the trip to Airbus because um, that was like quite early on and like we went to the wing assembly stations and all that so that gave us a few ideas of what we could do because like that's how professionals do it so. Um, so I wanted to create an exciting and engaging project for the students who took part. Um, I chose uh, students who just finished their GCSEs because they're in that crucial stage where they're going to be making decisions about their future and I wanted to give them a chance to meet and work with real engineers um, and to find out how they got to where they are um, and the kind of choices that they need to be thinking about making. Um, I chose to work with a mixed group of students because um, I think there's a big problem with uptake uh, from uh, girls up, uh, taking up engineering and so I thought it was really good to have a mixed group. The Marauder, um, because a uh, Marauder is like something that brings trouble and uh, really we think it's going to have trouble with the ground but hopefully, hopefully things will turn out okay. For the rocket okay. mode to sort it out, yeah? Oh yeah. Have we got our disc ready for that? I think we should snag it, sir, behind you. The difference between the two rockets is that one of them is going to be landing the egg with a parachute and the other is going to be landing it with a gyrocopter. The the one that's going to be landing with the gyrocopter is going to have a wider diameter for the body of the rocket, which means that it may not go as high, but it just needs to hold the gyrocopter. The hardest part of this challenge was for the students to consider the materials and the way that the rockets were constructed, and this required them to build up their designs via a series of prototypes to get to the final design. And this is really emulating what real engineers do in real life. They work from the basic designs, proof of concepts, prototypes, through to the final project. And so that really tied in with the overall aim of this project, which is to get the students to consider perhaps engineering is something they might want to do in the future. Six, five, four, three, two. It was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, but apart from being pretty much laughed off at the beginning yeah. and having huge doubts before yeah. it went off, actually deployed pretty yeah. well. Everyone thought it wouldn't work and then as soon as I saw it go up, oh, my heart sank and then when it deployed I was just like, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Such a good feeling. Could not contain it yeah. when, it, when it finally deployed and you just see it spinning down. Brilliant. And it, and it was only spinning for about a couple of metres and it just landed so nicely. 